All right. Good morning and happy Friday, everybody. We have a jam-packed surprise for you guys we tonight. Yes. If you guys want to head on out for some laughs tonight, uh, we're going to talk about the comedy night tonight. Yes, and also the grand opening that we had yesterday. Pure so, magic yesterday. Pure it was magic. amazing. Overwhelming just response from the community. We thank you all that attended. We thank you for just being supportive and also being part of the Our Community family because this is... I. Yesterday, I was shocked to see how big our family is Yeah. and uh, and the support from everyone. We got some of the supporters in-house today for our uh, interviews, and uh, we're just um, we're just great. It's just great to feel loved that way in, in our own community. So we thank you again for just being part of the, the grand opening yesterday. Absolutely. It was really special to see, you know, all of the local small businesses come out, or a lot of them um, come out yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's interesting when you have so many different things going on like we do at our community, um, to have everybody come and, and be in the same spot uh, from the merchant market to the women's empowerment group to men of the valley and incorporate everybody in the same place. It was tremendous to see how many people people had gathered out here yesterday. Right. And uh, it was definitely a blessing to see, you know, so much love and support here locally. So, uh, yes, of course, yes. thank you so much from our community. And uh, we're honored to, you know, be partners with you guys out here. Um, so much love, much love from much the, our love. community family here. And, and tonight we have uh, our first comedy night, right? Hilarious comedy. Hilarious comedy, <laughs> hosted by Johnny Herrera. Herrera. <laughs> and, or as uh, we say in French Valley, Herrera. Herrera, right? <laughs> and uh, so we got the first show. What time is this first show? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Sold, sold out, out, though. Yeah. Sold out. You missed out. We tried to add a second show for you guys. We got the 10 o'clock one. Mm -hmm. There was four tickets this morning that were available that might be sold out by this done. time. Right. It might be a wrap. But, uh, you know, if you're missing out this Friday, we are putting them on every second and fourth Friday of the month. So you guys check it out. Make sure you grab your tickets sooner rather than later for the Hilarious right. Comedy Show. And you guys, these aren't just normal comedians. These aren't just local, you know, talents. These are people that have been on Comedy Central, yep. HBO, Showtime, uh, you name it. Big, big comedy shows. So $20 a ticket. You definitely get your money's worth. Worth it. Yeah, Show definitely. up, bring your own food, mm -hmm. bring your own party, bring your own booze, uh, bring, bring your, your own, own stuff. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, we, doors open, what, 730? Uh, we'll start letting people in. Um, and um, come out pregame. Yeah, we're gonna pregame it out here tonight. Exactly. And, and just, <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm excited because this is gonna happen every other Friday night. So That's right. French Valley has its own gig every other Friday night now in the valley. Kind of a big deal out here. I think so. Yeah. yeah and it's, People it's, are getting to know us. And all I can say, it's about due time that we uh, <laughs> we put French Valley on the map out here. So we thank you for um, you know supporting this, and and there's more to come. You know, Lots this is come. just. Grand opening was started. yesterday. We're just getting started. So we're actually uh, just, um, you know, overwhelmed again for, by the response. But uh, at the same time, we, we just uh, we, we embrace all the love that we're experiencing right now. So we thank you guys. So uh, what's on our show today? We got a, we have three segments today. We've got right? Christian Pratt with Golden Puff Accessories right. in studio right now, ready to get interviewed by yours truly. Yeah. And then we've got Felicia with the Black Student uh, Union. Right. Presidente over mm -hmm. there, big ambitions, big goals. You guys are really going to enjoy that segment. Very and ambitious gal. We've got yes. some fun. We've got Lawson with the photo booth out here, oh, showing yeah. me how to have a good time at the merchant market, taking pictures with silly hats and things. So, mm -hmm. uh, you guys tune in for that stuff there, and uh, we're going to head on over for our first interview. Well, you're going to head on over there. I guess I will. <laughs> you're going to mosey on over there. So let so. me just sneak out here, Christian. Yes. And, send uh, it to you. Oh. And we're just going to continue the, you know, if you guys are want to be featured on our show, uh, vendors, uh, you know, we're, we're all about the, the small mom and pops, your startup, uh, local businesses. So take advantage of what our community uh, has to um, offer you guys, because it is, again, just a way for us to link arms in our community and uh, just uh, help really just, you know, be a, an influential, uh, a, a, you know, location here in French Valley as far as helping other businesses grow, uh, we, we're going to empower people, we're going to educate people, uh, you name it. So um, uh, are we ready, Amy? Yeah, okay. We're ready. So we're going to send it off to you, Amy, and Christian, and our special guest as well. Thank you, Christian. <laughs> I am here with Christian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christian with Golden Pub Accessories. Hello. Thank you for having me. 
thanks for coming. Such a joy to have you here. Thank you. Thank and you. I noticed this handsome little gentleman here to your left hand side. This is who Jackson. Is this? this is Jackson. He's three years old. He's a golden retriever lab mix. And he is a reason I started Golden Pup Accessories. Oh, he's such a sweet boy. He's so good. So what is Golden Pup Accessories? So we make dog bandanas and bow ties. And so Golden Pup started by, he's a Golden Retriever mix, but he's also my golden child. Oh, that's And so everyone cute. has a golden child, right? So yeah. he's it. <laughs> and so I was buying not such good quality bandanas for him. And I thought, my mom was a seamstress. I know how to sew. Let's do it. Mm, very so, cool. So um, have fun making them. Yeah. And so I was making them just for him. And people at the dog park started asking for them. And I thought, well, let's do it. Mom is open here. I am. Yeah. So all the bandanas are reversible. OK. So they have two prints on each side, mm -hmm. on each side. And they have snaps. So you don't have to worry about tying them. They just snap on. And if a dog pulls on them, it could probably snap off, and so there's no tearing. Aww. But it could become a tug of war yes. toy. So yes. <laughs> my dog uses hers as a chewing toy. <laughs> <laughs> so they wash really well. They dry really well. They do not hold up to tug of war yeah. things. It's so cute. I, I love it. Uh, we put the we put the um, the bandana on my dog. And she looked absolutely beautiful. She's she's a wild one. She's just like, what is this? What is this fancy necklace around? I'm not fancy. The kids have enjoyed it, though. Amelia's constantly coming up and trying to put it on her. It's a good time. <laughs> awesome. So, so I noticed you have uh, an Easter one. So we right do there. have an Easter. So this is an Easter one that I just made. I was up till five this morning. Woo! Making it. Ooh, so I'll show you. So this has got little Easter eggs and little pastel colors. Yeah. And on the flip side, Got little so matching cute. polka dots. So pastel polka dots. Pastel polka dots. <laughs> yeah. So you can wear it on Easter, and then after Easter's over, you have still a bandana you continue to use for the rest of the year. So if I had a, a specific bandana that I wanted for my dog, would you be able to make custom ordered one? I do. Start. I started making custom orders. Um, it's got to give me a little bit of time when I don't have a fabric on on hand. I can order it. And I'll put your name on your your name or your pup's name on it, and we make it we make it look fancy. Yeah, that's so. right. But I will. I wanted to talk. So if Zena doesn't like bandanas, another option is the bow ties. The bow ties. Oh, yeah. David's a big fan of. So they all come with the four inch Velcro, and they tie around the collar. And if you're called, you have a smaller collar, you just uh, cut the excess Velcro. Very so, cute. I know. I'm proud of these. And Adorable. I make everything myself. I do have a full-time job. This is my hobby. And hopefully this will someday go be full-time. That's awesome. Thanks for your, with your support. That oh, could be girl, a, my be pleasure. Do you want to so pick? where can people order these fancy bandanas and bow ties? So we have a website, goldenpuppaccessories.com. We're also on Facebook. And we have an Instagram account. So come follow us. Come uh, take pictures, post pictures. We love it. And... Uh, Right now on our website, we're featuring a lot of the dogs you have purchased from us. Oh, very cute. I'm going to have to send you my picture. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, that's Nina. <laughs> thank you. All right, girl. Well, thank you so much thank for joining me today. It's it. such a pleasure. And we all love Jackson around here. He's such a good dog. He's so good. Boy. Thanks for bringing that little golden, golden babe around here. So yes. we're going to send it right back to you, Christian. All right. Thank you, Amy. Awesome. I mean, you can go all different ways with that thing, you know, whether it's even like personalized scarves. I mean, you can make those for your kids, too, I think. <laughs> but um, as we set up for the next shot here, um, Amy's going to be also joining um, uh, Felicia or Felicia, I'm sorry, uh, with the uh, black students of uh, what is it called? The Black Student Union. Yeah. Awesome. OK. Yeah. And um, Okay, and uh, you're a high school student, is that what I take it? Awesome. Um, 17 year old. Wow. Great Oak High School. Okay. Very passionate, very knowledgeable. 
uh, been an absolute joy to talk to her already this morning on the pre-interview. So very ambitious um, too. You guys, from what tune I hear. in. Yes. Like she, she's about to lay some some good stuff on you guys. So yes. I'm excited to interview Felicia. I'll go ahead and make my way over there. Yes. So you guys pay attention. We got the president here. All right. So president. I know. Future president. So yeah. Prince loves his bandanas. Yes. Um, April says that she wishes that she lives in uh, lived in SoCal, and. We've got a lot of really great feedback right now that everybody's given us. We've been working to, to fix some of the issues that we've been having in previous shows. Mm -hmm. Some of the audio issues um, and whatnot that we've been having in different broadcasts. So we appreciate that everybody has been continuing to tune in with us. Right. Uh, Beth says that uh, Prince loves his bandanas. We want to make sure that you guys know where to get your dog bandanas. And that, of course, is in our community network. That's correct. Okay, right Download now. Download the app. Download the app. Mm -hmm. If you don't have an iPhone, throw your Android out the window <laughs> and go get an iPhone. An iPhone. <laughs> All right, let's send it to Amy Serpa with Felicia with uh, Great Oak High School's Black Student Legion. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I am here That's with us. my fabulous Felicia. Hi. Hi, thanks for Felicia. Yes. Okay. I know. I, Felicia. Yes. Okay. Felicia. So you are the president I am of the Black Student Union yes. of Great Oak High School. Mm -hmm. Tremendous accomplishment. You are 17 years old currently, and, and you're just, just on fire, on fire, ready to take, ready on, to take on the world. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate it. So yes, I am the president of Black Student Union, and our mission, and our mission statement is to focus on cultural competency and exchanges between people of color. Um, Black Student Union has ambitions to expand its fan base through a variety of activities and discussions in order to educate others, and by promoting equality and creating a safe environment for students. Black Student Union hopes to be supported by our community, and we also want to educate you know everyone on just accepting each other accepting our different kinds of cultures and appreciating uh, what we both have to offer whether wherever we come from so that's wonderful and you guys have been working on a project yes a so, mural yes so we had our first student-led mural directed by yours truly okay. and it consisted of an 18 foot long five feet tall mural for black history month um, if you look on Instagram at GOHSBSU, you can find the pictures and the ceremony recording. Um, we had Zach and Tony from the Council of Temecula there, and we also had Bigfoot Graphics, who actually gave us the supplies, so many thanks to them as well. And on the mural, we had featured Woody B. Waverly Woodson, and we also had Cecilia L. Tyson, Martin Luther King, and finally, Amanda S. Gorman, who recently was at the inauguration and did the poem. Um, man, she did such a great job on that. So I just kind of wanted to talk about exactly what achievements they had, what they did, and basically the passion and the drive behind making this project. So so this is your speech? Yes. This is my okay, speech. so okay, tune in. Let's give Felicia a close up on All her right. speech. So let's reveal. Okay, so what would really be Woody Woodson? Woodson was a medic in the Army with an African-American combat unit to fight on D-Day. He nonetheless managed to set up a medical aid station and for the next 30 hours occupied himself removing bullets, dispensing blood plasma, cleaning wounds, resetting broken bones, and at one point amputating a foot. He also saved four men from drowning, reportedly pulling them from the waves and administering CPR after their guide broke, broke, broke on the way ashore. Woodson, however, never received the Medal of Honor, the highest U.S. military decoration given to those who display extraordinary valor in action. And in fact, out of the hundreds of Medal of Honors given out during World War II, not a single one went to a black soldier, even though more than one million African Americans served in the conflict. Though he did not receive the Medal of Honor, BSU wanted to give him the honor he deserved. And knowing that Temecula is a very prideful place when it comes to our veterans, I wanted to give him that honor by having his portrait done. Awesome. Next, we have Amanda S. Gorman. She is strong, she is fierce, and a truly fascinating intellectual who BSU could agree deserved recognition after her performance at the inauguration. Cecilia L. Tyson, rest in peace, and may her family be protected during these trying times. Her acting career was appreciated by many and also a lecturer and activist, making her one of the most respected talents in American theater and film history. Many thanks to Guy Lynn Belser, who's a president, our vice president, um, who gave this idea to our amazing group of artists. And Martin Luther King Jr. And as always, Martin has always believed in peace and love as a method of protesting and change. His values align with what BSU stands for and which includes educating our sisters and brothers so that we can all live in harmony. 
So that was the kind of speech that we did at the ceremony. And I encourage you guys all to head over to the Temecula Historic Museum. Right across from there, you can see it. It's so big, you can't miss it. Um, and just kind of give back to the community by supporting it, taking pictures by it, looking at it, appreciating, appreciating, appreciating of uh, the masterpiece, and really just thinking back to yourselves, you know, what can I do to support the African American community? That's right. And you have the right attitude and the right perspective. Yes. What can I do instead of what can someone else do for me? Exactly. And so I applaud you in being a leader in your youth and your generation. And Thank it's you. it's absolutely necessary. Um, you know, in the same way that the youth has fired up their parents mm -hmm. and have shamed them into action uh, with things from the Black Panther Party, the Martin Luther King movement, civil rights and all of these different things. Mm -hmm. um, it really is a special thing to see the fire within our youth and the change that you guys have come here to uh, to really create, and it's absolutely necessary. So um, I thank you for the work that you're doing. I'm excited to see thank the things you. that you're going to do in the future. Yes. And um, I want everyone to know that's watching, um, you do have another event coming up. Yes, we do. So Tuesday at approximately 1.30, there's gonna be another event happening, another mural showing. And so basically the first student-led project was kind of like a segue for many artists to come and follow up and make more murals and spread awareness on what they feel should be you know, focused on at that moment in time. So on Tuesday, right across from the Temecula Story Museum, there's gonna be another showing, 1.30 at Tuesday. I will be there. And I encourage everyone out there who is in the Temecula area, Marietta area, to come out and see that mural for themselves. Um, I also want to talk about the upcoming mural for Juneteenth. It's going to be very, very cool, action-packed. There's going to be plenty of Black vendors. We're trying to support Black businesses. We're trying to support Asian businesses. Um, we basically want to encourage anyone out there in the Temecula community, in Marietta, anywhere of the surrounding areas, that if you have a business or if you have a hobby and you are kind of just trying to get some more um, recognition out there, we highly encourage you to go to our website, GOHSBSU, or DM us on Instagram at GOHSBSU um, so that we can get you guys out there because there's going to be booths set up. And then also, instead of doing the 18 foot mural, like another artist piece, there's actually going to be like photos taken. Oh, and so cool. we're focusing on a African diaspora um, photo shoot this time. So it's going to be oh, pretty cool. Very I'm so excited for everything you guys have coming up. Thank you. Um, if people are interested in getting involved, how can they get involved? To get involved with Black Student Union, all it takes really is just a conversation. So if you guys can reach out to me at my personal Instagram, Felicia M. Joseph. I'm sure you guys can put that on the, net, on the app if you get the app. <laughs> and so you guys can have a direct source to contact me, President of Black Student Union. I will definitely give you the materials that you need to succeed. I will give you guys events, community service events if you're interested so that you can kind of get your hands dirty and just start working on it immediately. And there's so many jobs um, for the Black Student Union. If you're not really confident with talking, maybe you can be behind the scenes and you're actually writing what you're passionate about and what you kind of want to see implemented in the group um, and, and our conversations that are meant to be had, you know. So there's definitely a space for everyone, whether you are super confident or super shy for service for everyone. So I love it. Thank you so much for organizing, you know, um, all these different amazing aspects and supporting, you know, black small businesses is absolutely necessary. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate that you're highlighting that because as you well know, there's a lot of history and that, uh, you know, our black community has been denied wealth. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there very much is segregation happening today and discrimination happening today. That's a conversation that a lot of people still are not ready for. Um, so it takes a lot of bravery and courage to have these uncomfortable conversations. Um, but by having those, that's how you will implement that change um, and continue to affect people. It takes a lot of confidence, you know, um, definitely from myself and from my family. You know, I have to thank my mom and my dad for giving me the confidence to speak out against wrong. Um, and wrongdoing too, you know, and speaking to individuals like you who are like-minded, it just gives me so much passion, so much drive to continue doing what I'm doing, which is trying to spread awareness, which is trying to create a safe space for everyone 
um, to be in. And so I'm just so glad to be here, so glad to be in our community. And I hope that we can continue to have different conversations, think of solutions that we can implement in our community today and in our country. And I think with a little bit of hard work, we can shoot for up here and then hopefully we get somewhere up here. So um, I just want to also encourage everyone out there to also attend the district BSC meetings. Um, it's not just Great Oak High School. We have a city meeting at Chaparral, uh, Murrieta, Vista, all of the high schools around surrounding. We have black student meetings. And, and so, so all together, we have these district wide, wide meetings right now that are virtual um, because of COVID and everything. But I highly encourage you guys to also reach out um, to any of the high schools. Just, just look on their website. If you go over to Black Student Union, we have a segment. It'll take you right there. And if you can't find it, DM me. I will help you. Um, so there's, there's information everywhere. And um, I highly encourage you as well to go to the website. BSU has its own website where you can actually actually have direct links to go fund me for African Americans and for Asian Americans. As at the moment, Asian Americans are the target of discrimination and oppression right now, and they need our help. They need everyone's help. That's why I think it's very important that those links are present there for you guys to help them, to share your support and share them so for people who can help, they know where to go. That's right. So, well, one of my sisters is in chains, so am I. You know, I am not free until we're all out of chains. Exactly. Um, and so, I appreciate the fight that you're in, and uh, you know, you're doing good things out there. And I thank you for joining me here today. Thank you. You've given out so much uh, knowledge and information about how to get involved. Um, so, of course, come out Tuesday, um, join out the mural, and then of course the Juneteenth one is coming up. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and send it right back to David and Christian. Okay. Well, that was very uh, empowering interview there. Thank you for what you guys are doing there. That was great. Uh, thank you so much, Felicia. I appreciate what you're doing over there with the uh, Black Suit Legion at uh, your Great Oak High School. And now we're going to go ahead and swap out, please. Um, and then we'll, we'll bring on um, Lawson with uh, Photo Booth and get you guys away from this horrible pixelated photo of us right now. Still working so on uh, all this tech stuff, stuff. Um, but right now we're going to start segment three right now. Here we go. Amy, to you. All right. Thank you so much. I am now joined with Lawson. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Thanks for joining us in the studio today. Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So it was a lot of fun getting to know you out yeah. at the Merchant Market and uh, seeing your photo booth all set up over there. So explain to everybody um, about your photo booth and what you do over there. So basically, I drop it off and you interact with it, right? Uh, you uh, just have fun with it. You have to start screens, pick your props, pick your filters, uh, then share it to your phone, and then to social media. What are some of the props that you have over so there? So any types booth? of props, I mean, from... Whatever the theme of the party is, I, okay. I got you covered, you know, Amazon and different things, I got you covered. So okay. from mustaches to, <laughs> to hats. To <laughs> I think things. I had a mustache and a hat yeah. when I was over there. <laughs> That's awesome. So you're available uh, to come out and do parties. Okay. And what else do you do? Parties, uh, private events, uh, quinceanera. So okay. awesome. uh, weddings, pretty much everything. I mean. Make sure of everything. That's awesome. Um, and then, so if I wanted to have you come over, say for a Fortnite party, right? Because my son is a Fortnite, you know, <laughs> freak. And so, if you wanted to have a Fortnite party, you would find the Fortnite stuff, right. come out, and tailor your photo right. booth to Fortnite, uh, and really create the uh, the ambiance of Fortnite, so that we can just plug in there, right. mess around on the phone, pick the filter, um, and and just have fun there. So then. Once people take these pictures, what do you do with them after? How do people get them? So uh, they type in their phone number, and then they save them or they send them to their phone, mm -hmm. which then they can share, then download it to their phone. Okay. So and then I will provide the props in the backdrop, so like the Fortnite thing, Fortnite thing in the backdrop. LOL. And then like with guns or like uh, guns, awesome. <laughs> Or like, um, like the chug jug, you know? Yeah. Like different things oh, yeah. from Fortnite. We did the chug jug for yeah. my son's birthday. Yeah. That's so funny, you know that. Yep. That's too funny, huh, Bryce? You deep. Chug jugs. Yeah. Um, so it's awesome. It was fun having you out there. Um, that app that you guys use is super easy. Yeah. Um, so you just walk on up there, plug yourself in, 
hit the camera yeah. button and mm -hmm. have a good time. Right. So it's the new age photo booth right. versus walking into the old photo booths, closing the curtain, sitting down and taking all these funnies and yeah. spitting it out. You get it right away. You get the digital copy. Yeah. Plus we do virtual booths. Mm -hmm. So uh, COVID and Zoom meetings mm -hmm. to have a virtual booth. So basically uh, you send them the link mm -hmm. and then they uh, take their photo right on their phone, right? With the different props and filters. Mm -hmm. And then it uploads to the live gallery, which you can see everyone's photos. And then, like, if it was a happy birthday or the birthday, mm -hmm. you could uh, do a video and then sing a happy birthday to them. Oh, cool. So different ideas like that, uh, spreading the word to restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, another photo booth owner I, I know. Um, they uh, partnered with a restaurant and got their, like, little uh, QR code on the menu. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a giveaway, like... Uh, um, take a picture or something like with the food or like a sandwich and be entered to win a $50 gift card. That's wonderful. It's like different opportunities like that to help spread the word around uh, fun, engaging, That's right. memorable photos. So you can use this for personal birthday parties, personal events, yeah. and then for business owners, of course, right. like you said, bring that in, have some fun, have the event create the raffle, get the QR code on there. I love all these ideas. Yeah. Plus marketing. That's right. Marketing. So uh, phone numbers, email, uh, who wants to join, or who wants the $50 gift card, who, like, different things to open the doors to. That's right. Businesses. Great ways to build out your right. social media, Instagram, right. all that stuff, TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do TikTok? I actually, I just started it. I'm trying to learn. So my niece is teaching me, and so is my six-year-old daughter teaching me how to use TikTok. <laughs> so they have it better figured out than I do. Um, so if people want to order the photo booth, Lawson, how can we get a hold of you? So right now I'm on Instagram. I'm currently building out my website. Okay. So on Instagram, I'm the photo biz. It's going to be the photo, so F-O-T-O-B-I-Z. Okay. And basically shoot me a DM and get you hooked up. Awesome. And we can go from there, but... I bet your Instagram page is a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I bet too. I'm going to have to have go check it? out the photo biz. Have you seen it? I haven't yet. No. I haven't yet. I'm going to have to head on over there, give me a follow, and like some of the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today, Lawson. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send it right on back to, to Christian and David. And happy Friday to you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Hold up one second. You guys are still on camera. Now you're off camera. You guys are good to go. Okay. Uh, that was a fun episode of our community news. Yes. We had uh, three different guests on today. Um, well, four, if we're including Jackson. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Christian Pratt with Golden Pop Accessories and her dog, Jackson. Yes. We had uh, Felicia Johnson. Felicia. Felicia. Felicia Johnson with uh, the Great Oak High School Black Student Legion. Yes. Um, and then we also had uh, Lawson with uh, Photo Biz. Photo, photo biz. So it was a lot of fun. We enjoy you guys tuning in. We hope to see you guys tonight at our community network's first comedy show. First one sold out already with Johnny Herrera at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, the one at 10 o'clock might have a few tickets left. But, uh, man, you guys did a great job. Christian, Amy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited about not hosting in the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Laters.